To configure data logging, first attach the 4512 to an Energize module and use the PPS application on your mobile device to establish Bluetooth communication. From the PPS Summary screen, tap the Data Logging button. Next, tap the Log Settings button. You can adjust the 4512 to log once a second, up to one log every 9,999 seconds. Just move the slider in PPS to adjust the interval, or you can type in the value. The kind of module the 45 is logging and the log interval both affect how long the 4512 can log before its 100 megabyte internal memory is full. A logging calculator is available on our website. Just select the product type and log interval, then click calculate to determine how many days of logging is possible. In this example, the 4116 can record a log every 10 seconds for 394 days. Now, tap the Enable Logging button and select Yes. Then tap the Send button. The 4512 is now logging data. On the display, the logging icon appears and is blinking. Tap the Logged Data button to select what data is uploaded to your mobile device. Because the 4512 communicates via Bluetooth, the upload rate is approximately 1,000 logs per minute. This means the upload time can be long for large log files. You can reduce the upload time by moving the start time and end time sliders to upload only the part of the data log that you are interested in viewing. Another way to reduce the size of the data log is to increase the upload interval. Here I am choosing an upload interval of 60 seconds. Since I configured the 4512 to record a log every 10 seconds, only one-sixth of the logs saved in 4512 memory will be uploaded to PPS, reducing the upload time. Now, tap the Get Log button to upload the data log. A new screen opens, showing a progress bar, the number of records in the data log, and the estimated upload time. The log screen opens once the upload is complete. Graph 1 shows the logged input and output data over time. Graph 2 shows the module relay status or channel 2 input and output data if applicable. The event log at the bottom shows any sensor or input signal errors recorded during the selected data log and when those errors were cleared. Tapping the Export as CSV button lets you view the log on a spreadsheet like Excel. You can save the log on your mobile device, email it, or send it as a message to someone. If you are using an iOS device, you can even airdrop the log to another iOS user. Thank you.